What's going on, guys? I want to talk to you guys real quick about uh, religious people who like to run from reality. Um, I was just thinking to myself, um, you know, people that go to church all the time, people who are deeply rooted into religion, those people are running from reality. Now, you can spend your life running from reality, but at some point you're going to have to wake up and face it. And one thing I had to understand about a lot of your so-called religious people, they are running from reality. They scared, shaking in their boots. Um, there comes a point where you can run all you want to from reality, but the reality of things is going to be staring you dead in the face. See, I've gotten to a point in my life to where I welcome the darkness. I let it succumb all around me. It's best to welcome darkness. Let it let it fill you, let it succumb all around you. Because running away from the harsh truth of life, running away from reality, all you're doing is hurting yourself in the long run. You might as well let it consume you. And that's what I'm learning at 34 years old. Don't be a coward and turn to religion and run to the church. You know, like they always say, if you're scared, go to church. You know, don't be a coward and run away from the darkness. Let it fill you. Let it fill your heart. Let it fill your soul. That's why I've gotten to a point in my life to where you there comes a point where you got to face reality. You got to face the harsh truth of life and sometimes you know the harsh truth of life is not always good you know sometimes life can can present you with some very harsh circumstances you know life can really drop the gavel on you you know just like the gavel slams in the courtroom when the the judge makes their final decision uh, life is going to be a nonstop beatdown for some of us. And I understand that people who are deeply rooted in religion and people who like to go to church all the time, they scared. That's why I don't, I'm so glad that I don't even wear the title of a Christian anymore. You know, I, I'm just non religious, I'm not an atheist. I'm just non-religious because I understand <laughs> that life ain't, life is not sweet. It's not sweet. And it's not going to be sweet for everybody. And I understand that spiritual people, people who are very religious, those people are scared people. They're scared. They're running away from reality. They're running away from the harsh truth of, they're running away from the harsh truth, truths of life. And you can't always run away from the harsh truths of life. At some point, you got to face the darkness and you got to let it fill your soul. See, people that go to church all the time, they got a lot of demons and they got a lot of skeletons in their closet. That they not man or woman enough to face. <laughs> but at some point, man, you're going to have to face them skeletons. And you're going to have to face them demons. This is why I'm glad that I see that religion makes you weak. The church makes you weak and... Don't think that I'm bashing religion because I'm not bashing the church. I'm not bashing nobody. Some some spiritual none uh some some spiritual people 
they would think that I'm bashing or coming down on the church. I'm not coming down on the church. Never have came down on the church. I'm not coming down on no nobody religious. I'm just, I just, I'm just taking an observation and I've observed a lot of things and I understand that people that go to church all the time are weak. Because if you run into the church all the time, that means you scared. There's something that you don't want to face. You don't want to face the harsh truths of life. You don't want to face the reality of life. You don't want to face the darkness. You know, so you rather run to the church like a coward. You know, I don't want to run to no church house. Because I, I'm smart enough to understand that God ain't going to save you. God is only going to save the people that he cares about. And that's just the truth. You know, he ain't going to save everybody. So while you run into the church thinking that the church is going to save you, it ain't going to save you. You can pray till you're blue in the face. There comes a point where you have to woman up, you have to man up, and you have to face the darkness of life. And sometimes... The brutal truth is a, is something that a lot of people try to avoid. A lot of people want to avoid the brutal truth because sometimes the truth can be so brutal. It can break you down spiritually. It can break you down mentally. The brutal truth is ugly sometimes. And you got a lot of people that ain't strong enough to handle it. And that's why I had to understand that People that's always running to the church are weak. They weak. They not man or woman enough to face the darkness. Rather than running from the storm, run to it. Rather than run from the darkness, run to the darkness. Let it fill your heart and let it succumb you. Because you can live in a state of denial all you want to, but... In my personal opinion, there comes a point where you have to face the brutal truth of life. You have to face uh, you have to face that darkness at some point. And people that run and, and I feel people that always want to lean on religion and run to religion, they're weak mentally because they don't want to because they know the truth about things. And they know the brutal truth of reality, but they're running from it. One thing I never did, I never ran from the brutal truth of reality. Because my grandparents, they always told me, you, you have to accept reality. My father always told me that as well. Running from reality, you're not doing yourself any justice by running from reality. Because while you're running from the truth, life is going to tell you what it is every day. Life is going to tell you what it is. And when you're going through life and you're catching all these L's and you're constantly encountering negative circumstances, life is telling you what it is. You know? You got a lot of men... They know why they're in their position deep down. They know why they've been disrespected by women. They know why they've been mistreated. They know why they've been outcasted by people. But sometimes that brutal reality can be too hard to face and it can be too hard to accept. One thing I had to understand is that some of the most delusional people are Christians because they're running from reality. They're running from the darkness of the world. I've been there myself. I was raised Christian, so I know all about it. But there comes a point where you just have to succumb to the darkness and give in to it and learn to accept it. That's what I've done. That's why I say 
these church folk, man, those are the main people who are running from that dark cloud. They're running from the brutal truth. <clears throat> but you can't run forever. Just like they say, you can run, but you cannot hide. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.